Kanye West admits alcohol-fueled anti-Semitic tweet that sparked backlash and business fallout. In a candid revelation that sheds light on one of his most controversial moments, Kanye West has admitted that he was under the influence of alcohol when he posted an anti-Semitic tweet in October 2022. The tweet, which resulted in widespread public backlash and the loss of several lucrative business deals, was a topic of discussion in a recently released episode of Candace Owens' podcast, Candace, which was filmed in 2022. I was drinking when I put up the DEFCON tweet, the All Falls Down rapper, now 47, confessed during the podcast. You wanna know what alcohol I had inside me? Hennessy. It turns us grey. The demons can come out. West's admission adds a layer of complexity to the incident, which had significant ramifications for his career and public image. The controversial tweet, posted on what was then known as Twitter Now X, stated, I'm a bit sleepy tonight, but when I wake up I'm going death con three on Jewish people. The funny thing is I actually can't be anti-Semitic because black people are actually Jew also you guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who ever opposes your agenda. The post led to an immediate suspension from the social media platform and a cascade of consequences, including the loss of partnerships with major brands like Adidas, Balenciaga, and Gap. During the podcast, Owens, 35, questioned why West had not disclosed his alcohol consumption earlier. He responded that he didn't want his words to be discredited because he still considered them to be truth. This is not the first time West, who legally changed his name to Yi in 2021, has blamed alcohol for his erratic behavior. He previously attributed his infamous interruption of Taylor Swift's acceptance speech at the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards to alcohol. At the 2015 VMAs, he reflected on the incident, saying, would I have drank half a bottle of Hennessy and gave the rest of it to the audience. Despite these explanations, West's actions have left a lasting impact. His anti-Semitic remarks in October 2022 were particularly damaging, resulting in widespread condemnation and the severing of several high-profile business relationships. Adidas, in a statement, said, Adidas does not tolerate anti-Semitism and any other sort of hate speech. Yee's recent comments and actions have been unacceptable, hateful and dangerous, and they violate the company's values of diversity and inclusion, mutual respect and fairness. West's unapologetic stance further fueled the controversy. In an interview with Piers Morgan, he initially stated that he was absolutely not sorry for his statements, but later expressed regret for the people he hurt and the confusion he caused. However, his continued anti-Semitic rhetoric, including a 10-minute rant in Las Vegas where he inaccurately claimed, it's 60 million of us in America, 60 million Jews in the world, has only exacerbated the situation. The fallout from West's actions has been extensive. Beyond losing business deals, his reputation has taken a significant hit. Reports have also surfaced alleging that West praised Adolf Hitler behind closed doors, with former employees accusing him of lauding Nazi propaganda. These allegations have only added to the public's growing unease with the artist. In December 2023, West once again made headlines with another anti-Semitic outburst in Las Vegas, followed by an apology for his unintended anti-Semitic outbursts. Yet, less than a month later, he wore a shirt featuring a neo-Nazi figure, further complicating his public image and raising questions about his sincerity. West's admission on Candace Owens' podcast is a stark reminder of the complexities surrounding his actions and statements. It highlights the role of alcohol in his controversial behavior, but also underscores the enduring impact of his words and actions. As he continues to navigate the fallout, the public remains divided on whether his explanations and apologies are enough to redeem his tarnished reputation. For fans and observers, West's journey is a cautionary tale about the perils of fame, the consequences of unchecked behavior, and the challenges of public redemption in the age of social media. As the world watches, it remains to be seen how West will address these controversies moving forward and whether he can rebuild the trust and respect he has lost.